right, uh, we're back. We're going to be back here in a little bit. The video is going to come up. SHOT Show 2022, Las Vegas, Nevada. And this Guns and Gear is brought to you live by Palmetto State Armory. We appreciate their support. Um, we have a, a guest back. We have Martin back <laughs> from Arms Corps, Rock Island Armory. Um, we had you back, and we were going to talk about something different. But then we were right before, we were like, hold on a second. We really need to talk about high cap 1911s. Yep. Well, nobody's making them. Why is that? Why would that be? I have no idea. Uh, maybe because Power Ordnance got bought by Remington and Remington went out of business. But uh, hey, th that could be it. <laughs> but no, uh, we are here live at SHOT Show 2022. This is the final day, and we are brought to you by Palmetto State Armory. But so. High cap 1911s not being made anymore. I think a lot of the big reason is because everybody wants to go smaller. They want to see how many rounds they can fit in everyday carry guns is primarily it. Yeah. Well, yeah, I think so. Um, you know, but there is an, uh, still a niche for this market. Yep. Um, and so we wanted to talk about it. Actually, they should probably bought one more gun. We do have the pocket, the 310 high right. cap. Right. That's true. Um, maybe a, you told me not to say any secrets. Uh, <laughs> oh no, he's gonna, I, he's gonna give a secret. I just got the uh, uh, the pictures of all the sample magazines for our nine millimeter, three ten. Really? Yes. Lisa's kill me, but yeah, oh yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, we're coming close. You we're guys are getting close. the juice right here. Like we're this. coming close. Really? We're coming close. So yeah, so we're the last guys making high cap 1911s, pretty much. Yeah. I mean, at least worth anything uh, yeah. and of good quality. Um, <clears throat> and we, you know, we got 10 millimeters, 40, 45, I think nine 22 yeah. TCM combos. Um, so yeah, we got the whole platform. Yeah. That's actually the frames are all done in robotics. Oh, really? Yeah. So does that allow for tighter tolerances, do you guys find, as far as fitting? Cons consistency, tighter tolerances, uh, you know, um, and the fact that we can run our operations 24-7 pretty right. much. So we can make a lot of high caps now. Really? Yeah. So produ producing quite a few of them. Um, so run us through it. Like, let's, let's get the details on them. Well, this is my favorite one. All right. I think the 10 millimeters are kind of a real heavy load, right? Oh, shoot, yeah. You know? I did a lot of filming with when we started coming out with a 10 millimeter single stacks yep. and, and stuff. And the only one I really like to shoot is this one. Really? <clears throat> well, the six inch barrel. Six inch barrel. There's a lot of weight there too. So when that gun get recoils, it's all that weight transfer is going through that gun, not just. Yes, because it, it's 10 millimeter. You right. Know? I mean, uh, we do a single stack version too, but we're promoting double stacks. Right. So. Oh yeah, <laughs> we got all that. We do have the 10 millimeter also in the regular size and 45. Right. And then um, the other thing that I've noticed out there is that um, a lot of competition guns out there, you need a base gun to oh, yeah. start. So the 40 cal, right? Right. So we got the 40 cal. And that's uh, right here. <clears throat> and we have a more traditional competition sight on there, and the fiber right. optic fiber front. optic front sight. So, um, and we don't put the rail; it's just a solid. Okay. So you're way. not. So no rail on the on the forty. <clears throat> okay. Yes. So it's it's really just meant for the guy who wants to get started in USPSA, um, yep. and start uh, you know standard division and get iron sights and. Not have to spend four thousand oh, dollars on, yeah. on a new gun, and then the fact is, like SDI doesn't even make them anymore, barely. I mean, right. Oh, sorry, sorry staccato. <laughs> staccato, staccato, <laughs> uh, rebranded, right? Uh, right. Um, you no, know, one of the guys. We used to do a lot of uh, Spartans. We used to do all okay. the Spartans for SDI. Really? So I know all the guys, uh, all the guys who are still left there. Right. Um, very good friends with the previous owner, and uh, and uh, <clears throat> and uh, you know. They're great guns. I mean, yeah. look at John Wick movies, right? Oh, yeah. But does, can everybody afford that? No. No. Absolutely not. <laughs> no, like, Hell, there's no way. My wife would kill me if I spent $4,200 on a gun. All right? Uh, she already got mad at me when I bought a Maw Deuce. So, jeez. Oh, uh, and uh, so we got this. But who doesn't need a Maw Deuce <laughs> in their life? Well, Come if you on, get an opportunity, right? Right. right. You, you jump, right? <laughs> um, it's... Uh, it's it's a great competition pistol. You know, you could go to Brownells, grab everything you need, put it okay. in there, and uh, it's a 1911 double stack. Runs with the old SCI mags and uh, para style mags, and um, you know there are base plates out there you can right. get and stuff like that to get a couple extra rounds. The Magwell uh, 
flair come with it? Yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. What you see, see is what you get, man. That's great. We like, bet the best possible value yeah. uh, and best possible quality you can get in our firearms for the and, best possible price. And of course, it's if, of course it's that that trigger. That it's that oh. 1911 trigger, and that's and that's very smooth. That is a very smooth 1911. Well, that's why people like it for competition. Oh, well, yeah. right? I mean, even bullseye shooters prefer an 1911 oh, yeah. over anything else. So, um, you know, there are other great guns out there. But what I want to do is bring value, and I want yep. people to join the sport, right? That's right. the most important thing is you got to join the sport. If you keep on looking at all these booths here with, you know, $3,000, $4,000 guns, oh, you yeah. know, it's like you get discouraged. Yeah, it's cool. You get discouraged, though. Right. Well, and it is so many new gun owners that we have coming in. Like, they look at the market, and they're like, well, I really want to try USPSA or something like that to start honing my skills and getting into it. But I can't go drop that amount of coin on it. Absolutely, like it's just not possible. Well, you imagine it's forty-two hundred for the gun, and then you got to buy an extra ten magazines. You know, yep. at sixty, eighty bucks a piece, and then oh, gotta well, buy ammo. Ammo, <coughs> ammo alone is going to no. be the deal. <laughs> ammo. I, I, by the way, I make ammunition too. Yes. So when you do buy a gun and you can afford ammo because you bought my gun, exactly. Yeah, Arms core ammunition. You know, that's a, it. It runs good too. Yeah. Uh, I haven't had any issues with it, so yeah, I like it. So it's it's something that uh, really uh, I think we're going to have this niche. We're going to have this niche for a while. Right. I don't see anybody else in the room really trying to uh, compete on that. Right. And uh, what are the grips on so these? These are G G10 G10? grips. <clears throat> yeah, we we have a G10 supplier, so uh, yeah. I I think that's great. They're nice and thin, you know. But if yeah. you got like the 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 40 uh, match. You know, you pop those grips off if you need to. Put some right. skateboard tape on there, you know. and uh, Yeah. Well, and I noticed the, like, the checkering on the front and back strap is really nice. I don't know how many squares per inch that is, but it, it's got a really good feel to it. Yeah. Well, it's uh, it's not too too aggressive. No, um, no it really and, isn't. And the, and the front strap, it's just a CNC operation, so we right. keep the cost down. Obviously, yeah. you can do a hand checkered front and... Uh, but you know, I'd have to charge for it. Well, yeah, well, yeah, but but this is—it's a nice aggressive texture, but it's not overly like it doesn't bite into your hand. Yeah. And because no, I know there's a lot of more aggressive grip <coughs> textures out there that are that are really really firm in the hand. Yeah. But yeah. this is perfect. So everything that we do is to make it more affordable. Yeah. Um, so it's uh, you know in the old days everything was done by hand and everything. And yeah. Just. It even made our guns a little more expensive than they should be. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. And the, I mean, it, God, it's got, it just has that great 1911 feel, and it's offered also in uh, 45. And we haven't really kind of, we hadn't got the chance to hold this one up, but, but we'll we'll show it off to the camera a little bit. And I know you got a rail out front. Yep. Well, this um, is more a tactical pistol. Um, yes. You know. Uh, <clears throat> Nobody shoots 45 in competition anymore, really, because no. it doesn't hold enough rounds. Uh, but this one, you want some stopping power. You don't mind carrying the full size. Right. It, it, it's a perfect gun for that. And, uh, yeah, it, it works out. I mean, they're all the same, 1911s. You know, you go to Brownell's catalog and have some fun. Right. Oh, yeah. And uh, different sighting systems on these, I mean, yeah. as far as the rear sight is concerned. But they're all adjustable, yeah. uh, which is great. you got two white dots here, fiber optic up front. Um, but great guns. Thanks for, like, making, like, double sex. Yeah, well, again. no, no like, problem, man. <laughs> and I'm uh, sorry for being so underdressed today. Um, so no, well, look at me. I'm wearing a flat brim, and, like, <clears throat> so did. I you're, in, you're fine. I, I, I was in the fitted suit last time we talked. You uh, were. Uh, but it's Friday. It's the last day of the show. That's right. And it's no a events. travel day. It's no events. Uh, right. Travel for me is 15 minutes home. Oh, that's right. So. <laughs> you get to sleep in your own bed? Uh, I sleep in the Trump Towers while I'm oh, okay. All days, right. and then I go home. Well, um, I guess it's a nice change of pace. Yeah. Usually, you got to be down here for all your meetings and yeah, everything it's, else. It's easy enough, and I don't have to take the kids to school. Oh. Hell, ooh, yeah. that's then, thinking I'm right over. there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There's, there's advantages to sleeping on the strip. There is. There is. I need to go visit the Trump Tower because I haven't been over there yet. Oh, fantastic rooms. Oh, really? Uh, fantastic hotel. I mean, and no no gambling, so no smoke. Um, I, ha I have. Now that's uh, nice. I have sensitive sinuses. If yep. I go through the casinos, I end up with a little, like, light cough. Yeah. And, and usually during the show, I've got to go have dinner at, you know, one of the restaurants. One of the restaurants. So i got to walk through the casino floor, and I end uh, up with this. 
<laughs> yep. <laughs> my hay fever starts acting up. And, yeah. Uh, you know, everybody thinks I have COVID. Which he does not. Yeah. I don't think. I uh, tested negative. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, Martin, thanks for joining us, man. I sure do appreciate it. Uh, high cap 1911s, Rock Island Armory. And don't forget, they have ammo. That's right. Arms Corps ammo. So yeah. go check it out. Armscore.com. Yep, armscore.com. Go there. You'll find everything you need. So uh, that's it. Right now, we've got, hey, we've got Aero Precision coming up. So you're going to want to check those guys out at 1130. Uh, but we'll be back right after this. Let's see what we get. <laughs> Always very innovative. It's a lot of fun.